My name is Zizwe Awar Vundla. I'm a Kenyan, I'm a South African, I'm an African woman, um, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter, I'm a friend, and I happen to be a brand builder and an organizational builder. I'm currently doing that for a company called Procter & Gamble, where I head up the marketing and commercial division for South Africa. My first why is, um, one could see it as selfish, but it actually isn't. My first why is to be happy. So every morning I wake up, um, my goal that day is um, how can I be happy today or how am I going to choose happy today, right? And why I say that sometimes that can be defined as selfish um, is that you think it's a selfish act, but the things that make me happy are me making other people happy, which comes to my second why. My second why is how do I make my continent better? How do I make my family better? How do I make specific African women happy? Oh, um, and those are the things which make me happy. So if I tick those boxes, then I've chosen happy and I'm happy. So that's my why. Um, I hope to leave the continent and specifically African women happier and better than um, they were 40 years ago. I'm not always fearless. And I think that's the first thing I, I, I would need to acknowledge is that even as a fearless moment, there are moments when you are fearful. And it's that moment when you choose to put aside the fear and um, be brave and even though your voice is shaking and you're nervous and you're like oh my gosh how is this going to turn out and still going for it that makes you brave and fearless so that's what makes me fearless i think the fact that even when i'm scared and even when i'm not sure and there have been many instances in my life where i'm not sure how things would pan out or how people would um, view me based on what i was about to do but i still went out and do it because i believed in it and i was very i was, I was very passionate about what I wanted to do, that's what made me fearless, going out even when I'm scared. So um, at the beginning of this year we had to choose words, so I choose a word every year, but this year was brave. And um, the whole idea was that I realized that there have been moments in my life where maybe um, I didn't get the, the out outcome I wanted and I realized um, in those instances, it was always because I was not brave. So I told myself this year, and hopefully for life actually, that I was going to be brave enough to speak up. Speak up for myself, speak up for other women, just speak up um, in, in instances where I was scared. Because I think when I speak up, I, I'm able to make a change, not just for myself, but for those around me. So it's definitely brave. And just to kick jumpstart that, I actually did the bravest thing I've ever done in my life and I jumped out of a plane. So I figured that if I can jump out of a plane, I'm brave enough to do anything. I would tell myself to trust my gut in all instances because um, your gut always knows. Your inner self, your soul, whatever you want to call it, always knows. And I've found out that whenever I silenced that or didn't trust that, I was scared to follow my gut, the result was never a good one. Um, so I would tell myself to always follow your gut and always speak up what your soul was, was saying. Um, so it would be speak up, it would, it would be about being brave. It would be about just, even when you were scared, speaking up, speaking up to authority, speaking up to people who thought they knew you better than you knew yourself. Um, because no one can do that. So it would, it, would, it, would, it would fall under the mantra of speaking up um, bravely for what I believed in and what I knew was right. 